Hello, I'm Sue from Taz Res and we run publishing workshops and art workshops all around Tasmania and at the moment we're running one at the uh, Great Gallery of Mona in Hobart and we've been meeting some really interesting people and uh, teaching them some software skills so that they can feel confident to go out and self-publish. I heard about this course and I thought, yes, I need to upgrade my skills in uh, well, Photoshop, for instance. And I've been doing that and now I'm having an experience with making visual images to put on my website. Uh, I'm a visual artist. Um, I do a wide range of visual arts, two-dimensional, three-dimensional. And what brought you along to this workshop? Um, I was kind of interested in refreshing my Photoshop skills, um, getting back into the Adobe products and seeing where they're at these days. Well, I've reached the third age, uh, as they call it, and I do a lot of work with U3A, and I, I joined the Writers' Centre, and it was through that that I got to learn about this workshop. And I ummed and ahed a bit for a while, and then I thought, I'm going to do this. So I did, and I think it's wonderful. So Julianne, tell us a little bit about your background. Oh, well, I work in insurance, um, and I guess I am a little bit interested in what I might do in the creative area of my life, or expanding that, and curiosity perhaps is what has brought me here to, today. And what's been the highlight of the weekend for you? from the amazing Mona um, experience and, and the food, um, the company of the people here and just particularly exciting backgrounds, the incredible backgrounds that people bring into to the workshop. So from you know writing books to, to visual artists, it's been really inspirational. So Tim, have you got a story in you? Oh, I've always got a story. <laughs> so um, I've been a school teacher for over 23 years and now I'm working for Adobe as their senior education specialist. And I have been doing that for just over two years and I get to travel all over the world, mainly around Asia Pacific, encouraging educators to be creative in the classroom, working with Adobe tools, obviously. So do you think you'll be writing a book soon? <laughs> well, probably not soon because I'm pretty flat out encouraging other people to be creative. But maybe one day I think there'll be a book. I think there's a book in everyone, Sue. But yeah, maybe one day I'll get to document what I'm doing. And what's been the highlight of this weekend for you? Um, I have really enjoyed the refreshing um, of the Photoshop skills and a touching on InDesign. That was great as well. So that's sort of given me the confidence to go and explore those on my own. Have you been inspired to write a book? <laughs> I actually have a, a picture book in mind from my last exhibition that sort of gave me the idea to come along to this workshop and maybe there's something I can learn here to um, take it into the, to the other world, the other realm of, yeah, Photoshop. So everybody's got a story, what's your story? What are you going to write after this weekend? A new beginning, a new beginning, getting brave and taking a chance on life and um, jumping off the, the treadmill and doing something a little different. And what do you think is the best tool for budding writers? What sort of, uh, which software tool would you recommend that people should learn to self-publish? Yeah, so um, Photoshop is really good if you're a self-publisher just to be able to do a lot of your branding, uh, to do a lot of your illustrations and to be able to make sure that you've got that under control because getting professionals to do it is so expensive. Illustrator is also great as well just to be able to work with vector diagrams. And um, in terms of promoting your work, and making like little video trailers that can go on YouTube and on Vimeo uh, to be linked to Facebook and just use social media. I, you can't go past Adobe Premiere Pro. It's just a, a fantastic tool. It's the industry standard for, for television and yet it's still relatively simple to actually work with. My background is in the arts and recently I've developed more of an interest in um, Photoshop. I travel to various residencies throughout the world and uh, enjoy coming to these our own residencies and have a look at the work that other people are doing, particularly in Tasmania. And what do you think is the future for Tasres? Ah, oh, great staff. We'll have more of course and develop um, the programs that we present and hopefully have more people attending and doing some great work. We've had a fantastic time at Mona. We've been well looked after. The food was excellent. We've been 
it's fed so much that I thought we were going to burst at one stage. And also, this wouldn't have been such a successful weekend without the help of Brett Kent, who came and taught everybody Photoshop skills, uh, Tim Kitchen, who came along and talked about social media, as well as uh, teaching everyone how to use Premiere Pro, and to all the wonderful attendees and all their fantastic stories and backgrounds, which really made this weekend fantastic. And we look forward to meeting new people at our next TASRES special event.